Today we embark on a thrilling underwater journey as we unveil the mysteries of one of the ocean's most enigmatic creatures, the oarfish. The ocean holds countless wonders, and the oarfish is undoubtedly one of its most captivating inhabitants. With their long ribbon-like bodies and elusive nature, these majestic creatures have intrigued scientists and storytellers alike for centuries. The oarfish, also known as the king of the herrings, is a remarkable fish that inhabits the depths of the ocean. With its long slender body and silvery scales, it's truly a sight to behold. But what makes the oarfish so unique? First, let's talk about its appearance. The oarfish can grow to astonishing lengths, reaching up to 36 feet, 11 meters, in size. It's actually the longest bony fish in the world, besides the whale shark that we know of. Its elongated body resembles an oar or a ribbon, hence its name. It's not a pretty fish, and it may look like a terrifying sea monster, but it is not thought to pose a danger to people. An intriguing feature of the oarfish is its ability to produce bioluminescent light. This means that it can emit its own soft glow, lighting up the darkness of the deep sea. This unique feature is due to a layer of guanine molecules on its skin, which helps the fish confuse and evade predators. Interestingly, this shimmering compound can even rub off on your hands when you handle the oarfish, giving you a glittery touch. Another fascinating fact is that the oarfish has a captivating way of swimming, hovering vertically and undulating its dorsal fin, before gracefully switching to horizontal swimming and waving its entire body like an eel. But why does it prefer vertical movement? According to researchers, the oarfish's orientation allows it to silhouette its favorite food, krill, against the light from the surface. By presenting the minimal cross-section to predators looking downward, the oarfish increases its chance of survival. It's crazy to see a fish swim vertically. The oarfish is a child of the deep, preferring the mesopelagic and bathypelagic zones, which can reach depths of over 3,000 feet, or 1,000 meters. It's rare for humans to see an oarfish, since they rarely come up from the depths. These regions are shrouded in darkness, with immense pressure and scarce food resources. Yet the oarfish has found its niche, surviving in this extreme environment. However, while the oarfish has long been associated with the deep sea, scientists believe it may not be restricted to that zone. Many sea creatures, including the oarfish's favorite food, krill, are known to migrate vertically, dwelling in the depths during the day and moving towards the surface at night. It's possible that the oarfish follows these patterns in pursuit of its prey. Now let's talk about the most fascinating behavior observed in the oarfish, autotomy, or self-mutilation. Similar to lizards, the oarfish can willingly amputate parts of its own body. Yes, a fish that can survive being cut in half. This self-defense mechanism helps it escape from predators, as the discarded body part distracts the attacker. The oarfish has a very long tail, which means that it can practically be cut in half without hurting its organs. Some oarfish specimens have been found with significantly shorter tails, raising questions about the cause. Interestingly, one theory suggests that the oarfish may shed its tail as it grows larger, reducing energy and resource requirements for maintaining that portion of its body. It's truly a remarkable adaptation. Now you may think that if it can survive after being cut in half and then go on and produce offspring, would this be considered as an unlimited food source? While it's an interesting question in theory, it's doubtful that an oarfish being cut in half and put back in the ocean will survive. Also, people have tried eating them, but describe the flesh as flabby and gooey. An account from 1798 claimed that not even dogs would eat the flesh, either raw or boiled. Even seagulls, which would probably eat the ice cream you dropped in the sand, given the opportunity, are said to avoid oarfish corpses. There are many tales and legends about the oarfish. Because of its long body and the rare oarfish sightings, sailors who didn't know what an oarfish was have mistaken the fish as sea serpents from myths and legends. In Japan, oarfish have long figured into folklore. The slender oarfish is known in Japan as the messenger from the sea, God's place. And according to traditional belief, if many of the fish wash up, it may signal a coming earthquake. Whether this is true is uncertain, but meanwhile the oarfish swims around vertically and unbothered in the depths of the ocean. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. See you next time.